All right, guys, what's up? Now, welcome to your third AND engine tutorial. I just finished up creating all of my jars, as you can see here. Once we have our jars in this format, which has the extension jar, um, we can delete all these projects that we just downloaded. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do that. So I'm gonna right click, move to trash. Bam, they're gone forever. All right, so I'm just gonna delete them all out of our workspace as well because they no longer exist and they're gonna have errors and everything so alright so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure our actual game engine itself has or our and engine is working properly so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to again it's just and engine.org gonna go to source we're gonna go to right here related projects and engine examples click that we're gonna go down to the sprite example here now what we're going to do is we're going to, well, don't worry about that for now. We're going to create a new Android project. Again, it should be right here or other Android, Android project, next. And we're going to label this uh, and engine uh, game. Hit next. We're going to be developing for the 2.2 platform. Bam, next. Dot, my bring back dot and engine uh, we set up our package uh, name and everything's good to go here's our project that we're gonna start developing our games with and all that great stuff but first we're gonna check out make sure it works and we also need to add our jars to our project or the jars that we're gonna use I'm just gonna add the main and engine jar uh, to get started with so I'm gonna go right click on our package name or a project name project package and go to we're gonna go to build path and we're gonna go to add external archives right here we're gonna click that bad boy and we're gonna locate I thought I deleted those folders there anyways we're gonna locate our Android engine jar the main one that we should have uh, created here we're gonna click that hit open and we are good to go the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our source we're gonna go to the and engine game activity here and open that up and if you guys have been watching my other Android development series this is just the default activity that we get uh, pretty basic but what we're gonna do is we're actually going to delete everything that you see here and then we're gonna go over to that website I showed you guys a little bit ago in the tutorial and we're just gonna cut this where it says extends that's where we're cutting and we're just gonna copy everything from this example here uh, to make sure that we have a sprite working so I'm gonna paste it right here. So as you can see, we still have our own activity name that we created, and we also have all the code from that example. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to get rid of this base example because I don't think it exists anymore. Um, and we're just gonna say game or base uh, game activity. And there you go. And the next thing we have to do is we have to right click on this or I'm sorry just hover above it and then go to import base activity or base game activity and as you can see it comes from our jar or our Android engine um, that we included in this project so we're just going to click that and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to hit command shift O and it's going to add all of our imports for us now we have three different options to import a camera we can import the camera from the graphics or from the hardware but we don't want to do that we want to refer to our engine that we just added to our project for all of our imports so our Android engine here um, that refers to the camera camera that's the camera we're essentially looking for so we're gonna click that one hit next and then for our next one we're trying to import an engine again we want to make sure it comes from the Android div dot and engine dot engine dot engine here as you can see so we're gonna click that and all of our errors should have gone away. There's one other thing we need to do before we can, or actually a couple other things we need to do before we can test this uh, itself. The first thing we need to go, uh, the first thing we need to do is go into the Android manifest and add the permission of wake lock because the AND engine uses wake lock so we need to add it to the permission. So we're just gonna hit add, uses permissions, um, and again that's from the permissions tab at the bottom if you guys hear of our Android manifest and we're gonna right click or I'm sorry just regular click on on that down arrow scroll down to where it says wake lock so that's what we're adding we can go over to the XML file make sure it's located there which it is 
and we're good to go. So we're going to save that. And then the next thing that you notice, or you probably haven't noticed because we haven't looked at this yet, but inside of our assets, it's referring to something called GFX or graphics, um, a folder. And within that folder, we have an image called Facebox PNG. Well, in our assets, we have absolutely nothing right now. So I'm going to open up our Finder and go to our Documents or wherever you guys created this workspace. Mine's in Documents, the Basics, and then uh, and Engine YouTube, I believe. And within here, we have absolutely nothing. So, all right. So the first thing we need to do is we need to click on that, go to right click, add a new folder, which we need to call GFX. Cool, right? And we want to add a image within this folder. It can be basically be labeled whatever you want. So if you guys want to create or draw a quick image in Paint, uh, make sure the height and the width are divisible by two. So like two by two, four by four, eight by eight, sixteen by sixteen, or thirty-two pixels by thirty-two pixels. So what I did is I created a small image. Again, if you guys have watched my uh, tutorial series for Android. Um, I created this blue ball PNG. It was 75 by 75, but that would not work for the AND engine because it has to be divisible by two, the height and width. So basically I just scaled it down to be 32 by 32. I'm just going to copy that there and go into the go into the graphics folder we just created and paste it within there. And again, it uh, it's all lowercase, blue ball, PNG cool uh, the next thing we need to do is go back to Eclipse go to project clean hit OK and now within our assets we have a graphics folder and within the graphics folder we have something called blue ball All I'm gonna do is change where it uh, change the name of our image that we're referring to so that again is under the onload resources um, right here this line of code where it refers to Facebox, I'm just going to say blue ball instead. And save it, hit run, and run as an Android application. And hopefully, if we, we create everything and installed everything correctly, we should get some sort of an image. Um, and if you guys aren't, uh, you know, make sure you leave some comments. I'll try and figure it out. Um, but also, if you aren't, browse through the comments, see if your question's already been answered. Or you can head over to our form at mybringback.com forward slash form. Um, I'm sure if there is some errors going on, people will be talking about it in there. You can get some helpful info, uh, info from, from our form or also the form on the andengine.org. Um, I'm sure people will be more than willing to help you out, get you going on this. Um, but if you guys just quickly note, if you guys have some like, well, we kind of covered this error error when we are creating our jars but uh, if you guys couldn't even run it if it wouldn't even like load onto your emulator here okay there we go so that's what it's gonna look like if it wouldn't even load onto your emulator like it just wouldn't go basically what you want to do most likely is go to window Android SDK manager and make sure all these are up to date um, so go to the repository make sure installed is checked and install all the packages um, it might take a while but you know hopefully that would cover one error that I had uh, when I was trying to do this and if it's crashing like if you run it and it crashes on your emulator it says you know your project can't run make sure you go into the manifest make sure you have the wake lock turned on make sure your uh, blue ball is like 32 pixels by 32 pixels um, make sure you you know just watch these three tutorials that we've done so far about a billion times and hopefully you'll get your answer fixed um, but again uh, thanks guys for watching and that's our introduction to the AND engine and getting everything set up um, so hopefully you'll enjoy this series guys it's gonna be a fun one so thanks again guys have a good one